I've been waiting for the perfect conditions to go out and use this new 16 millimeter lens that I just picked up for my R5. But it's Canadian winter and every day is cold gray. I decided to just go out. I know it's night, but I know my R5 is amazing at night and despite the cold, I decided to just soldier it. What I love about the R5 is the tonal range and how this camera handles low light. Unfortunately, the GoPro I'm shooting with does not handle low light with the same capability that the R5 does. I can't film and shoot with my R5, so... I wanted to almost do a test to see how the GoPro handled me shooting at night. The GoPro is amazing for so many conditions, but shooting at night is not one of them. I did consider showing just slides with music, but I really thought it might be a little bit more engaging for you to see just a little bit of the behind the scenes of me walking around and looking for these photographs. I really like going out with just one focal length, which is, by the way, this is how I do street photography. I'm a portrait photographer mostly, but when I'm going out to just shoot, whether I'm shooting street portraits or doing street photography, I only bring one lens. So I think I'm gonna make a series of videos on these one lens walks that I do. So we'll call this the first one. This is a one lens walk with my 16 millimeter. I definitely will be going out during the day with this lens, but I thought I'd make a short video just because I went out, I was recording, I wanted to test how this GoPro would handle night. Why not share it with you guys? You can see how amazing this camera lens combination handles night, handles low light. It's kind of incredible, actually. It's perspective month on my channel. I give monthly challenges to my viewers, so this month's challenges are all surrounding perspectives and new perspectives, so I had to buy a lens to, you know, give myself some new perspective. accidentally tapped my GoPro and it flipped over, so I apologize for that shot. You can see the GoPro gets a little bit noisy. It doesn't stabilize well at night. I had to really test it and seeing how I get these shots and seeing what it looks like a little bit more in real life, I think is adding to the story. I stumbled across this encampment in front of this church, which was incredibly difficult to look at. Many people haven't recovered from COVID and the lockdowns. This fire station, I had to stop. And this window, I loved the depth of field, but this lady was not happy. The camera gets a little crazy here with the digitizing, but I really did love that church. Because of the hyperlapse accident earlier, there was some amazing photographs that I missed catching on video, but I'm going to include them at the end. I'm 
glad I caught this woman walking by. She was wearing the right outfit. And didn't get hit by a car. This is the stuff I didn't catch on video. If you guys like this kind of content, please consider dropping it a like. I just decided I had to go out tonight. I was getting tired of being cooped up at my desk, so... I decided to make this for you. If you guys like it, please tap the like button and subscribing is cool if you want more of my smiling face. Thanks for watching everybody.